guys, crew of Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Eric. I'm Shane. I'm Kevin. We spec back with Vikings last time on Vikings. We had... Floki. Bjorn came back. Lagatha, Bjorn came back. Uve, uh, Ivar. Ivar Pitzer. got a new chariot from Floki, which was mm -hmm. a very sweet scene. I really enjoyed that. Bjorn was watching. I don't know what no, he was watching No, Bjorn was for. banging Astrid. He was also banging Astrid at the well, end. Well, he was just kissing her. I don't know. He, he might not have banged. He might not have banged. No, they he might not have banged. Get off your phone. Well, I got someone said something about this episode, fool. But never mind. <laughs> the last episode, we had questions on. Bjorn was banging Astrid. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> or maybe they just Is kissed. Is Lagatha aware? Lagatha, who's not going to be going to, uh, with them, to... <laughs> L uh, Ayla, right? L. <laughs> this yeah, is dead out. What's wrong, Eric? Nothing. No. Could Bjorn be no, banging his wanna... mom too? Is that no, what you're thinking? No. Is that what I was thinking? No. no. Let's not continue. Let's let's start the show. The catechet is huge! Yeah it is. Unless it's somewhere else. No, it's right. the He wanted you to be our leader. There's no way Bjorn is not the leader of this thing. Yeah. I think Ragnar's kids should all be leading, though, but I think they should follow Bjorn. I think Bjorn should lead them. Yeah. yeah. That was the woman who made me believe I had to be king of all Norway before she would marry me. <laughs> really? That's how you the know this shit? You know this shit? For every day of my life. That's the kind of shit you tell some guy to get him <laughs> off your back. He He's saying, then he goes and becomes He's president. So <laughs> she told him he would have to be king before she would marry him? King of all Norway, yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, damn, that's I don't a think guy. That... You mean you weren't serious? <laughs> she has to have heard of his... Everything that's been going on with his life. Oh, yeah. shit! That's his girl! Wait, are they cool with this? I don't know what it's it's it. Ed. The fuck, brother? I hope the sons of Ragnar don't get torn apart by a woman. I hope no, I've, uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Ragnar got torn apart by a woman. Snakes. Come on, man. Confidence, you're a king. Princess Elisif. Brother, too. Come and say hello. I'm sorry. I wanted to marry you. You turned me down. It wasn't important enough for you. I'm already and married. when I succeed, she's already married. I become king of Norway. Oh my gosh. I cut my hair. I'm already married. What? Excuse me? <laughs> gonna kill him, isn't he? That little fairy! <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> it's what he's thinking. It probably is what he's thinking. Shit, 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 shit. My brother's backing him up. Oh, stab her, stab her, is what he's thinking. What are you doing? Please, no. Yeah, now you built yourself up, man. Go get some harder girl. You know what I mean? I want to become king of Norway. I want her to be like, hey, I'll be your queen now. I'm like, fuck you. Exactly. And then send her off. Take the guys that are older. Get someone girl that looks like her except looks better and younger. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was I'm immediately I'm glad on, he didn't I'm immediately on his side because of what happened to him. But yeah. he's a terrible person. Well, I don't, I, I, terrible I, I'm on his side, but I, just, I wouldn't have been if he killed her. You know, I like his brother. Who gives this, this woman away? Well, his brother's like, here's a knife. <laughs> oh, the wedding. The bridal race? Yes. <laughs> Race. What's that mean? There's racing. But whoever wins, what do they get? Her. They get a fucker? <laughs> like, what, what's with the. Jeez, if I get a fucker? Yeah. Like, I don't know what the point yeah. is. Fucker. What's the point of this? Yeah, it's is it? That's the husband, right? Yeah. And then oh. his brother, why is his brother racing? <sighs> trying to make him. <laughs> trying to make her like him. <laughs> they have to revenge Shrakna. He loved me. We are coming with you. What? No. Yes, we are family now. Whatever happens, we must be together. <laughs> He's doing cool shit with the fire. Yeah, Ragnar did that too. Oh, that's what they're doing. Whoever loses has to serve. Mine too. <laughs> be cool, mm. man. Be cool, man. Uh, mm. man. It's not like that. You gotta be cool, bro. Mm. Man, this is way night. Get the fuck out of there. My wife. I don't think it's fair that I should keep my bread to myself. Oh. Uh. That's not right. Let's see if it's true. I mean, I don't see what's so special about this this Margaret girl. She's okay. I guess. This is how cuckolding started. <laughs> fucking Vikings. Her that fucking owl, man. I like that so much more than that lamb. Yeah. <laughs> Ragnar had his pet was lame. 
Spaceship! Oh, huh, what? <laughs> he doesn't even care. Give a shit about that celestial phenomenon? That's insane. I'd kill a fool if that happened. Like, son. <laughs> Bjorn saw that as a sign to go back. Oh, God. Dang it, Astrid. Man, they're both He's getting... putting it in slow. They're just... both getting penetrated. Oh, man. To have that... You can't see the one of these sides, Calvin. Remember when his wife was just bitching him out and he just left to go bang her? I knew Bjorn was a choker. Where's Bjorn? Where's Astrid? Oh, no. We don't know if it... I seem like Astrid would tell her, right? I think they know. I, I hope that was enjoyable. Oh, she definitely fuck. knows. It was. It was. So I will take the lead. Yes. I will establish the battle plans, and I will give the orders. Do you understand that? <laughs> you don't agree, Alpha? I didn't say anything. You don't have to. Your age makes you believe you know more than you do. And what battles have you lost? For it is in failure, my brothers. That is where we learn the most. <sighs> really? You don't want to listen, that is your choice. I'm gonna download this speech and listen to work out. <laughs> yeah. oh. And you will obey me! Who? Who's here? The great heathen army. Oh man. Heathen army. Terrible. It's great. Right. Yeah. Great. <laughs> You'd better listen to me, father. This has nothing to do with God. This has to do with you. And with me. Most of my life you've either manipulated or humiliated me. Hell yeah. You use me. You fulfill your ambition. But because Ragnar loved him. In a way you've never loved me. So did Athelstan. I hate that name. Well, well, of course you do. I trust you completely. That's why I always used you. You loved Athelstan. You love Ragnar Lothbrok. Tell him you love him, man. You love me? Father. She had to warn us. She had no need to warn us. I was already prepared. My lord bishop, let us go to war. Why not renounce the crown in favor of your son? Well, that is for me to decide, not you. Damn, he snapped back reality real quick there. Yeah. Behold, the great army of the heathens. Look at them all. Twenty guys. Army after all, my lord bishop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want his smile to fail. It's like, oh, shit. Look at that. <laughs> it looks so bad. His smile fades. <laughs> Look at him! Coming out of the woods at your house. <laughs> Look at him! Look at him there. Oh, the chariot! Yeah, Ivar. Well, Ivar, get a fresh taste of battle. Yeah. Might, might humble a little bit, though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he might just be awesome. I know. He might just be awesome, yeah. Oh, Bjorn. Bjorn. Yeah, all the suns. I've seen that picture somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he can. God can't help us. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's what the blasphemous thing he's ever said. Damn it, don't skip the battle. Ragnar! <laughs> I'm so happy. <sighs> what are you gonna do? There's thousands. Oh shit. Gosh, they're lynching him. We'll get a fight this season sometime, right? How long has it been? Is it, do they ever take his body out of there? Like, is his no. bones still there it's or anything? Or? Don't show him. Guess what? So am I. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, 
That was a badass line. Are they gonna do the eagle? Oh man. I'm just thinking about him laughing, poking Ragnar in the feet with his I mean, even to his own man, like in season two, he pushed him in that fucking hole with the snakes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is not a great man here. Uh, as it goes. Oh, fuck. Yeah, oh, fuck. I think they might be eagling him. Oh, no, they're gonna start hacking away at his rib cage. Ah! 100% they're blood eagling. Be creepy, Ivar, go. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> there you oh, go. There you go. Oh, man, that was, that was bone chunks and shit. <laughs> He'd be in shock, man. He'd be done. He'd be still be alive, though. Fuck, man. That's brutal. Oh, oh man. Strong sticks, man. That's a big boy. A slingshot. That's disgusting. <laughs> now the little piggies will grunt when they hear how the old pours something. Look at the ghost is whipping oh, my neck. Man. <laughs> oh, hell. Well, we did skip a battle. Yeah. Um, which, I mean, you know. That happens. Game of Thrones does it, too. Well, Game of Thrones did it, especially when they had, like, only a million dollars per episode, you know? Yeah. yeah. They can do it now. You know, Viking yeah. still doesn't have that. I mean, I definitely think we're going to get a big battle this season. Probably it's just, it's going to be against Aether Wolf. Aether Wolf. Aether yeah, because yeah. he actually prepared. So I was fully prepared to skip over that battle, but... Um, I still feel the emotional payoff of killing Ayla. Yeah, yeah. Me, me too. Like, and to see Bjorn, like, yeah. I mean, it makes me teary eyed. It makes, it makes me think of fucking Mel Gibson, the Patriot. You always go back to that. Well, I mean, it just made me think, like, he was upset. Sure. I, I mean, know, yeah. Like, everyone else was, like, overjoyed. I think for him, it was. Maybe this, you know, to him, this isn't even fixing what's the pain he's feeling. Sure, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, the conversation between uh, Aether Wolf and Eckbert. Mm hmm. That was, for me, that was almost as close as him and Ragnar. Like, to me, like, sure, I can as see a father, that. and it made me think of Gladiator. Yeah. Like him and his son, Commodus. Yeah. Uh, I, I because, didn't really... and the thing is, like, obviously, they're, he's, they're way more developed than the movie Gladiator. It's only a two-hour movie. Sure. So, like, the payoff was just, uh, man. What did you think? You guys think? Just how the, how the little piggies will grunt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I enjoyed it. I actually kind of prefer that we didn't see the battle. Because the yeah. battle wasn't the important thing. It, no, it was. It was no. killing Ayla. I mean, just seeing the bite come that over the hill is so yeah. satisfying. Yeah. And just to keep coming and yeah. coming. <laughs> when I, they all piled down in that little valley, yeah. laying on each other, trying I mean, to keep as long as possible. We got to see them lose before it even started. Right? Yeah. We just got to see the realization and the you know the pompous look on Ayla's face mm -hmm. as fall. I love that. Well, even him just saying God can't help us. Yeah, I know, right? I and mean, that's him admitting he's definitely lost. Eckbert, it's interesting because I think he really is failing. He, I don't think he was lying when he's saying, like, you know, my uh, my eyes are dimmer, my you know, my mind yeah. isn't working, you know. Because la the last episode, I think it was, with that scene with Alfred when he's like, you know, the drinking, they had the China, the, dr the drink game and stuff like that. Like, I wonder, like, does he is he still putting on any kind of like play for people? But I think he's pretty honest with Judith. Well, what he was saying here, like, it really felt like he doesn't even like himself. Yeah. Like, yeah. He's like, Ragnar made me see, like, how Lost. bad I was. Yeah. yeah. And all that kind of stuff. And I think maybe that's also messing yeah. with him on, like, who he is versus who he wants to be sure. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I love how he I loves mean, Ragnar. Yeah. And, who he, and, <laughs> you know? and, like, who he needs to be. Wow. Like, was he, he wasn't a good father, but was he a good ruler? Yeah. Like, did he, but he wasn't able to do both? Yeah. Whereas, like, he looked at Ragnar, and Ragnar was, like, a good father, well, but he was also a great ruler. I thought it was very revealing that he said, like, you know, I always trusted you. That's why I always used you. Yeah. You know, because he could trust that he would do what he said he did, you know? But it wasn't a matter of, like, that's why we always worked together so well. It was, like, I used you. Like, mm -hmm. he was very admitting what you had done. Yeah. Yeah. And Aethelwolf just, like, what can he do but keep going on, not back, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's I don't, I don't I want, want to play be. Aether Wolf against the Sons of Ragnar. Not at all. But I feel like that's what we're going to be at. I don't want to do I mean, that. I, I, I feel like, like both. definitely that's what they're going to be yeah. at. I kind of want Aether Wolf to become king. I don't know. I, I, wonder if, I feel like he'd be a, a good king. Kind of. He was kind of rash with Ragnar when Ragnar showed up, but he's probably right. He was probably of, right to want to kill both of them. Because if he didn't just kill him right then, then... But when he was younger, he, he made some decisions. He, he wanted to do things that were rash. Eckbert, his father, knew, hey, no. Yeah. His father was definitely a smart ruler. Sure. Like, he's just, he, he got into, the way he got into power was 
his son could never do that. But now that they have power, maybe his son could be a good king. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I wonder if any more will come back with Magnus. I don't know. I don't know. I, th- I was wondering that earlier. I mean, the only two people that would really know who he's the son of are dead. You know what I mean? But didn't he say, like, like when you go, tell everybody you're the son of? I mean, yeah. So he wants them to keep thinking that, right? I don't know. But, I mean, Ragnar said he wasn't, and said there was no way, and uh, Quintreth has said that he was, but was she lying for whatever reason, or was Ragnar saying saying that to save him or something like that, or was there something more behind it? It felt really convenient that immediately after Ragnar said, he's not my son, then they let him go. She just pissed on my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> She's pissed all over me. We have the stuff going on with Bjorn and Astra and Dang. Lagatha and Torvay. And... I was going to be like, speaking of pissing, Astra and Bjorn. And like, <laughs> <laughs> but he already yeah. went into it. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. mean, it's just... And, and, and then even with uh, Ube and the other brother, Hitzfurk, whatever. Hitzfurk. Whatever. Hitzfurk. That guy. Uh, and then the... Fucking shitty name. His wife and stuff. <laughs> like, there's some weird shit going on over there that I don't know what to feel about. About yeah, there's like I mean, Bjorn. It's just not, it's just my culture, so yeah. I can't. There's like Bjorn with two different women. Yeah, but a lot of cultures don't want you both. sleeping with someone else because you and don't know you... if your child is someone yeah. you're playing resources. Even fucking lions will kill fucking even other males, even the sons of other, you know, even young male cubs. Yeah, but that's because of them ruling, right? Like the <laughs> like the male line of a tribe that like takes care of uh, not tribe, but like a pride. The pride. The pride. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. will kill other male it, cubs kill. so that it, they well, will become strong, When they strong, take right? over a pride, they'll kill all the male cubs. So yeah. there's a right, and, and so it's not, and, and, well, I guess we don't know for sure, and just so it has no offspring of, because they want to have kids, and they, they want, want all those kids to go everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but if you had a male cat from him, he, would, would he kill it? No, because it's no. his offspring. Yeah. They, yeah. they let their offspring live. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like here you have, like, two brothers with the same girl, and then you got one guy with two different girls. Yeah, there's double no chances of... Of their genetic material getting out there, I guess. Yeah. I guess. I don't know. But yeah. This one girl. We will uh, get more Ragnar. I mean, you know, when he said like we are Viking, you know, that's the reason that they're not they're cool with it. You know, I, I just don't know the the culture, so I can't really necessarily judge it. Yeah, I mean, because there's, there's obviously it's, 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 jealousy with, yeah. with Athelstan and with that crazy guy about to stab that girl. Yeah, there's obviously jealousy, but I, that's why. Yeah. Like I think it's because they're brothers. Because I understand you can have understanding, like you and your buddies bang some girl, but that's his wife. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, they, they all banged her, though, before it yeah. was his wife. So maybe it wouldn't feel that weird. He's like, I don't want to be selfish. Except Ivar. He tried. Yeah. I mean, the whole production of this episode was crazy. Mm-hmm. Just like the slow-mo, like the crazy imagery. which is unbelievable. Uh. I have a feeling that Ivar is going to be like... He's, he's biding his time right now, but he's definitely going to be pushing against... Bjorn's leadership. Maybe. I, I agree. I mean, I kind of want him to prove himself in a way. Yeah, but not um, at the cost of, of Bjorn. Of Bjorn. Sure, yeah, yeah no, I get you. And I love that speech Bjorn gave. I completely agree. Yeah. I was like, yes, yes, Bjorn. I agree completely. Yeah. Me, Cut this shit out. I will leave. <laughs> uh, what do you think of Lagatha with uh, the whole Astrid situation? Like, she seems know. to know, right? Yeah. yeah. Or does she just know she snuck off? She knows, right? It's not yeah. like she knows that she just snuck off and Yeah, she that hope it was worth it. I think just like what she's doing with the wall around Catechet, maybe she's securing something. You know? Like maybe like, the, the first son of Ragnar, if we get, you know... Leverage? A son of his. I mean, Torve is... Oh, that's her name, right? Torbe, Torve? Torve? Tor- Torvi. Torvi. I mean, she's way into the camp of Lagatha. Yeah. You know? So... With Lothbrok. I wouldn't children. be surprised if she knows. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Like, I think he loves, obviously loves his wife and his children, but he, you know, wants to bang this other hot girl. You know what I mean? Which obviously is bad, but he doesn't, like, despise or not care about his wife. Like, I don't think it's the same thing that Ragnar had with the bitch who got shot in the back. Aslog? Yeah. What do you mean? Didn't he just bang her because he wanted to bang a hot, hot, hot chicken? And he wanted, I know, he but... Wanted, I, he didn't want his sons yeah, to like it. Was like, give? Yeah, like, but 20 I, years later that that, yeah, but, that happened. Yeah, but their love didn't died out when they were younger. Like, he continued to love... Um, Lagatha? Lagatha. But her, I think, mm. the love faded away. They grew apart. The Azalog, I felt, was more of, like, he went sons. And yeah. sure, maybe she looked... I don't, I don't think but he really loved her. I think Lagatha was, I mean, like, his, he his was like soulmate kind of thing. He definitely lusted after that first one. Yeah. And then he got back and he got greedy. Yeah, he could have... If he, if he wouldn't say that one thing, maybe know. he could have had them both. 
Don't you see you see your best friends, BFFs? <laughs> <laughs> FFs. BFFs. BFFs. Uh Harold. Harold yeah, Hammer so, Time. Harold Finehair. Yeah. And then um Half Dan is his brother, but uh, yes. I just kept saying Half Dan. I keep names of it. Full Dan or Half Dan. I keep yeah. forgetting. It. Harry. Why would it be uh, Full Dan? It has to be something that stems from Full Dan, so it'd have to be Half Dan. Well, I don't know why. It wouldn't, wouldn't be Full Dan, it'd just be Dan. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, that's what I'm it, saying. I knew it was literally one of them. Hey, one time, that full banana. One time you got your joke in, like, <laughs> oh, there's whole Dan. Or that, I'm like, is it whole Dan or half Dan? But anyway, he wants to be king of our Norway only for a woman, which is just, it, it, it kind of like both enhances and diminishes his story a little bit, like in terms of uh, his ambition, you mm -hmm. know? It, it enhances, no like, the story, but like how you feel about him as this conquering man it diminishes him a little yeah. bit but also it's i think it's a it's a timeless story yeah how in a troy he's, he's like you know but i also feel like bad for him that, but I, I like when she was you know she's like i'm already married and he doesn't even look at the guy he's like him <laughs> he's just looking right at her still you know yeah. it was so intense and then she's like you know who was he she's like just an earl <laughs> an earl when i asked you i was already a king yeah. but you said it wasn't important enough you know? Yeah. Oh, fuck. I fell, I fell for him. And his brother's speculating for the stabber, stabber. <laughs> <laughs> he was goading him. Yeah. Like he was, was pointing out and stuff like us. that. And then he put his hand down by his side and his brother was holding the knife yeah. where his hand would naturally be. Did he the, just grabbed it. <laughs> so the Earl came here to be with the great army. Do you think the Earl and the wife are both with the army? No. No? I would say the Earl I mean, might be. But. They, they, some, I mean, they generally will take... I mean, it depends on what they do. Stuff. They, they may also, you know, Lagatha stayed back at Cadigan. Yeah. Some but, of the commanding people may have stayed back and just brought their army to sure. be led by Bjorn since they weren't leading them. And they, he said before, too, Bjorn, you know, none of the kings or earls or whatever are leading this. I'm yeah. leading this. Like, in the way that um, uh, Floki was saying, like, you know, it'd be best if you stay here. And he's like, no, I'm going with you. Like, almost like the going with you is the default. I just wonder if it's like a thing where, no, generally, they all come along. I don't know, I don't know, because in the first couple seasons, we didn't really have that, I don't think, especially with Lagatha. I she see. didn't come until later, and all the other men Maybe. who were with them, like, yeah, especially all, if, they, you know, they didn't bring either of It's usually just the men, yeah. It's, I mean, it's, because honestly, they're probably taking care of the children, it's especially, only especially during this time period. I mean, Tor uh, Torvi went with them last time, right? And then Helga's yeah. gone with them. Yeah, but yeah. not every woman went with yeah. all their men, though, okay. you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So it might be, I'm sure some might go, but yeah. not all of them. Like, some of them stay back at, like, like if the men go fight and they stay at the camp and cook and stuff maybe or something like that because before was it uh it was Helga whenever she it stayed was Helga back with like she other, got hurt. the younger Lothbrok kids and yeah. all that stuff like she was back at the camp with some other people yeah. with some older guys like I guess so do you camp. think like okay historically so, I don't I don't know they may just I, take, I would imagine historically it's probably the men most of the time yeah I mean they may take some for helping with maybe like taking care of medical stuff while the other men are out like fighting nurses. Or it probably kind depends of. on how long they think their campaign is going to take and <coughs> that kind of yeah thing, you know? yeah and in places like uh, England where they're expecting to be able to settle is a thing too yeah know? yeah that's I would point. just figure that if you have able-bodied men able to fight you'd probably rather want them to fight rather than them staying back and Tending camp or sure. helping with wounded or any of mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. They may take other ones that aren't ready to fight to take care of that. And all the ones that can fight can go. Okay. All right. And then, I mean, Helga and uh, fucking Donato's came. Oh, I love that pizza. Yeah, I know. Jordan did too. Yes, he did. Well, we don't know. Fucking luck. Maybe it was. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Vikings. I loved it. If you want to see more episodes of Vikings, uh, the reaction wise, make sure you went over to patreon.com slash blindly where you can find the next one right now. Also, praise Bebo, the, the, the no. god of no, all Vikings. No, 20 seconds. The god of all Vikings. <laughs> all right. Everybody agrees with me.